today's video, we're going to be talking about things to declutter before Christmas. This is the time of year that can get really busy for a lot of us. And with everything that's going on in the world, I'm sure most of us could use a little bit more peace in our lives. So it's the perfect time to go ahead and go through some items, declutter, clear out your space, make more room for your decor, and just make your home feel a little bit more peaceful before all that busyness starts. I've included some things too that will not only help clear out our homes and add a little bit more calm, but that can also help others out. So it's really a win-win and I really hope that you enjoy this list. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button for more content like this. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So let's go ahead and jump into the list. So the first item to declutter, this is probably one of the more obvious ones, but that is clothing, specifically winter clothing. If you have extra coats or hats, gloves, things like that, this is a great time of year to go through that inventory and see if there's anything that's still in good shape but that you're not necessarily wearing. Maybe you didn't wear it in the last year. Maybe you have multiple coats or hats that you could consider donating to the local shelter because lots of people are looking for that type of thing this time of year. And so not only would you be clearing out your closet and making more space, but you might be helping someone out who can get that coat at a much better price at the local Goodwill or shelter. So along those same lines is appliances. So I just did a huge kitchen declutter in my own home. If you wanna check out that video, I actually did two, one for counters and one for cabinets. And we were able to clear out quite a few appliances. Some of them had either very lightly been used or not even used at all. So a lot of people are looking for those types of items to give as gifts. And if you donate it to the Goodwill or something like that, then they can get them at a discounted price or if you just need to make a little bit of extra cash yourself, you could also consider selling them on places like Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. And that way, not only do you make a little bit of extra cash, but someone else can get that item at a lower price and maybe they need it for themselves or can give it as a gift. All right, so number three is decor. And this really kind of goes for both Christmas decor and regular decor. And I'm including both because this is a great time to go ahead and declutter any extra, just regular decor that you have. Um, because that way you're making space for your holiday decor. If there's anything that maybe isn't your style anymore or it's just taking up too much space, then it's a great time to just go ahead and get rid of those items. Again, People are looking for gifts this time of year, so, so maybe you have some decor that's in great condition, but it's just not you anymore, and maybe someone else will really enjoy that item. So instead of it just collecting dust, either on a shelf or in storage, then it would be a great idea to let someone else enjoy it instead. And then Christmas decor, if you have old Christmas decor in storage that maybe you didn't use last year, or maybe you haven't even used for the last several years, or maybe you're doing a different theme this year. I know for us, we're kind of changing it up. So some of the decor that I had before, I'll be going ahead and getting rid of this year. So this is the perfect time to do it before the holidays start. That way it's still in season and people can get it in time to set it up for Christmas. All right, next up is toys. So this is like the perfect time to declutter toys because most likely your kids are going to get toys as gifts. So it'd be a great time to go ahead and evaluate the toys that they already have. Maybe there are some things that they no longer play with, but they're still in good shape. And this is a great time to go ahead and either donate those, or if you have even maybe new toys, then maybe you could re-gift them for like the angel tree or some kind of foundation like that to give to kids in need. It's a great opportunity to talk to your kids about giving and at the same time, you're decluttering some of those toys. Next up is blankets. And so some organizations actually will take lightly used blankets. I know our Goodwill, I think takes like comforters, decorative pillows and things like that, that 
haven't been slept on, of course, that are in good condition. And then you might also consider donating to the local animal shelter. A lot of times they need blankets or even um, towels and things like that that can help with like the grooming. So that would be a great option if you just happen to have a lot of extra blankets. I know for us, we have a lot of throw blankets and some of them are in basically new condition. So we definitely plan on doing some of those this year to clear up some space. So that would be another great idea. Next is decluttering your pantry. So this is a time of year, of course, that we're usually cooking a lot, baking and things like that. So it'd be a great time to go through your pantry and maybe see if there are any items that are expired that maybe you could go ahead and clear out and make space for the new items that you are gonna be using to cook and bake and maybe take inventory of what ingredients you have so you're not going out and buying more. I know for me, a lot of times, if I am trying out a new recipe or I'm baking something that I haven't baked in a while, I don't remember if I have those ingredients, so I end up with duplicates. And so it would be a good idea to take stock of that. And then also there's so many food drives going on at this time of year. So maybe if you have a back stock that you want to pare down, uh, maybe you stocked up uh, at the beginning of the pandemic and you're looking to go ahead and get rid of some of that stuff. Of course, make sure it's not expired and that it's still good, but it would be a great time to donate some of that stuff as well to maybe like a local food drive. And along those same lines is cleaning out and decluttering your refrigerator. So for the same type of reasons, you're doing a lot of cooking this time of year. It's a great time to clean out the fridge, declutter any items that are expired, or maybe that you're just not using. You bought it for one recipe maybe and it's just been sitting in the back of your fridge. So it'd be a great time to go ahead and clear all that out to make room for newer items that you need to stock in there. And for all the pet lovers out there, Maybe you have some extra pet supplies that you don't need anymore. Um, I know shelters are always in need of like dog food, cat food, cat litter, things like that. So if maybe you have a surplus of those things, then those would be really great things to donate to the shelter along with extra food bowls and containers. Of course, like I said before, blankets, or maybe you even have extra pet toys or something like that that are in good shape. That would be a great idea as well. I know this time of year, a lot of people are looking for new pets to give as gifts, or maybe they went and got a new puppy or a new kitten and decided it wasn't for them, and they end up in shelters. And so a lot of times the shelters can get really overrun and they really need these supplies. So that would be a great option if you just happen to have some extras. I know for us, we have like a ton of canned cat food, so I'm sure that we could part with some of that to help out another animal in need. All right, so that is it for my eight things to declutter before Christmas. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I would love to hear in the comments if you have any suggestions of your own, or if you would happen to try out any of these things. And I hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and joining along on this journey and being a part of this community. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.